Alright guys, my name's I Ride Taz and welcome to another episode of Budget Bobber Build. This is Project Gilby and this is how to install exhaust wrap. So it's a pretty easy job, should only take 10 20 minutes. You're gonna need a few things though. A bucket of water, you need some automotive hose clamps, and I prefer hose clamps to metal zip ties. I find they get a better grip and they're easy to install. I've used them every time I've wrapped an exhaust. Uh, you need the exhaust rack itself. This is 25 foot and it's easy enough to do this bike. Screwdriver to adjust the hose clamps. Scissors to cut the uh, exhaust wrap. Some silicon spray to stop it from getting dirty. And this is the most important bit, gloves. This exhaust wrap is made of five glass and it emits little fibers that stick in your skin and you itch for weeks so put some gloves on I don't care how badass you are just put some freaking gloves on first thing throw the instructions away you don't need them put the exhaust wrap in the bucket of water basically that's going to help you apply it you're also probably not going to want to do this in your Sunday best because you get pretty wet and dirty as it flips around so for the two pipes cut it in half you can see even just normal cheap household scissors are pretty easy to cut them. Right, put some gloves on. Open up the hose clamps. Two fur pipe. Uh, might as well do the dummy pipe first because it's the shorter of the two. In my experience, you want to start at the exhaust first. So if you go from the header to the exhaust, the wind will catch that edge. If you go from the exhaust, push a bit through, to the header, so instead of it having the edge that way that can catch the wind you want it that way so it's protected from the wind just to stop the edge from fraying just roll the tail a couple of times just to neaten up that pull it tight push it right up against the pipe adjust these later or even put uh, the metal zip ties on but you just want to have this clamp down so you've got something to pull against I like to put it on the first overlap Right, oh, this is the fiddly bit done. Now it's just a process of wrapping. So you just find a, a larger section where you can pull the wrap through. Pull it tight. Overlap about a third of the way and go in X rotation I wouldn't be too delicate about the wrap 
picking up debris and rubbish from the ground because it's on a motorcycle remember it's gonna get dirty it's gonna get a lot of spray the water because you soaked it in the bucket remember just helps keep those fibers at bay so it's not difficult by any stretch it's just fiddly and getting each rotation even so it doesn't just look like a hat job shorter the tail gets, basically the easier it becomes. Just to make life easier, we'll just cut that there. It becomes scrap. Roll the tail over. underneath that guys is the dummy pipe or the rear pipe done Uh, just swivel these around at your leisure to start uh, hide the screw but that's pretty much as simple as it is it's fiddly it takes a bit of time but uh, ultimately that's about the extent of it next job is to just give that pipe a liberal coat of silicon spray and that just helps keep it clean and we'll move on to the front pipe so next thing guys is you want to let the bike get up to temperature and that will sort of solidify the wrap onto the pipes. It smokes and sometimes it smokes an alarming amount, but your bike isn't gonna catch on fire. It's just uh, sort of setting that five glass wrap onto the pipes clean up a few of the bits uh, I hope you agree it looks fantastic it just adds to that retro vintage feel of a build and I couldn't be happy with it it's pretty fiddly uh, but it's worth the time and effort and the more even you can get that uh, particularly around the curves the better it's gonna look it's it, it, it is budget Everything I bought to do this video came to about 60 bucks Australian. You can certainly get the wrap cheaper if you buy it off the internet, but it takes weeks to get to you from China. I bought it from the local uh, auto supply st parts store, and I've used it before. It's real good quality stuff. I think it's better than the cheap stuff that you buy on eBay, but ultimately, do what you can at the budget you got chop what you got basically guys I'm pretty happy with that uh, I might have a fiddle with it later just spin that around it's 
spin that around a little bit just to neaten up a little bit but that's the basis of the whole project guys it's just wrapping the exhaust hope you enjoyed hope it was instructional and i hope you enjoy me next time on budget bobber build my name's Alright Taz and I am 